Ay, ¿qué pasa, bandita? Soy Gato Place y estamos en un video de reacción a Guillo vs. Alucardé, el especial de Halloween, todo muy spooky, vampiritos, yo-yo. Mira, de hecho traigo mi manga de yo-yo aquí. Para que Dio gane. Espero que gane. No me decepciones. No quiero que pierda a Yoyo. Y vamos a ver, ¿eh? Vamos a ver. Ok, ok. Uf, uf, uf. Le tengo mucha estima a este episodio, ¿eh? Espero que no me decepcione. Por cierto, Gato Clown, si se escucha bien, por favor. Ok. Uh. El de Castlevania, güey. No pusieron gato clon, te voy a subir un poquito, a ver. Imagine if you can someone so wicked that the sheer magnitude of their unholy dickishness literally destroyed the universe. Básicamente sí, por culpa de Dios. Por culpa de Dios se estrelló el el universo. Born a penniless street rat with a cunning mind in the slums of Victorian London, Dio was humiliated and abused by his alcoholic father. His bitter resentment and small dick energy would lead to a lifelong desire for ultimate power. Aquí el enemigo de la familia Yosta, básicamente. And he'd get his chance to act when he's about to go to the well. Todas las desgracias son su culpa, güey. Dio planned to kill his new father, George Joestar, and take his fortune for himself. Only one thing stood in his way: his new brother, Jonathan Joestar, aka. Yo, yo. Ah. Qué puro Jonathan, güey. También me duele su muerte. Es un hijo de puta el Dio, güey. Ajá. Como lo dice el título, ¿no? La bizarra aventura de yo Ajá. Puede volar, güey. Bastante lole, ¿no? Pero puede. Simón. Simón. Hipnosis, vuelo, ok. Todo bien hasta ahorita, ¿no? Tres veces, ¿eh? Simón. Aprecien la edición del video, muy buena. Por cierto, ¿cuánto dura el episodio? 22 minutos, ¿eh? Qué rico. Y no sé. Por cotorreo, pues la anécdota. Luckily, his plans were foiled again by his old frenemy Jojo, who beat Dio's ass with a martial art that uses the power of the sun. Oh, well. Because should Dio's Qué grande era Jojo. Be subjected to sunlight, he Jojo. Disintegrate. So, what did Dio do? Well, he cut off his own head, killed Jonathan on his wedding night, and attached his head to Jojo's body. Well, he's taken <laughs> for sure. <laughs> After a sí. brief century in a coffin at the bottom of the ocean, Dio resurfaced in Egypt and tried once again to take over the world. Dice mientras Dio no usó sus poderes de vampiro cuando obtuvo el cuerpo de Jonathan, no hay evidencia de que ya no los puede usar. Oh, oh, oh. Vamos a ver que está muy buena, eh. The embodiment of a user's life force. El mundo. Made of psychic energy, stands can only be seen by stand users and can mm -hmm. only be hurt by other stands. Quite the obstacle for any opponent lacking similar abilities. Ow. Oh. Hey, look, we <laughs> <laughs> got a stand. I call it 99 bottles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit. Uh, don't 
Ahora tiene transmutación, no me lo creo. <risa> no, no, Wiz. No, muerto. <risa> Qué épico, güey. ¿Poco se dice de que Boomstick sobrevive? <risa> no, cállate, güey. Ya maten el chiste, por favor. Okay. He technically inherited it from Dio through Jonathan's body and bloodline, making Star Platinum and the world the same stand. And both are the mismo tipo. strongest stands out there, just as strong as Stone Free, which can punch meteors that were pulled to Earth in seconds. Ok, hoy le contaron los meteoros, eh. We can estimate they were moving at over 11 million meters per second. Ok. In their mass, they each have a kinetic energy of 441 kilotons of TNT. Not that crazy when you can throw punches that are Creo que ese es multi city block. No, really, Star Platinum kept up with this stand Silver Chariot. Ajá. Uh -huh. Cut a beam of light. Looking at the interval Silver Chariot sword swung relative to the light beam, it must have moved over 1500 times the speed of light. Okay. And he himself has matched Star Platinum on his own and taken its punches head on. Yeah, yeah, but that's nothing compared to Dio's secret weapon, the greatest weapon in anime history. Lo que le dieron faster than like y creo que multi city bloque. Turns out Dio's a hell of a chef. He can make pancakes and donuts. <risa> no, el chiste de la dona. Dio es still a careful tactician, capable of exploiting an opponent's weakness. Ah, wey, 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 wey. Bad, he wasn't prepared for Jotaro to learn how to stop time too and murder the shit out of him. That's some hardcore karma right there. Básicamente murió por un guionazo, wey. Die like a bitch. But much like the machinations of great and terrible men, Dio's will was immortal. In time, his greatest follower succeeded in extinguishing the sí. bloodline and literally remaking the universe in eh. Dio's image, creating that <laughs> heaven he always dreamed of. I guess when you're named after a rock star, a movie star, and, uh, oh, that's right, God, you're pretty much bound <laughs> sí. for a Se llama como Dios. Your first kiss would be Jojo, but it was I, Dio. Oh, dijo la línea. Bueno, multisite vlog y faster than life, eh? Bastante bien, bastante decente. De Alucard sé que no sé mucho, ¿eh? Así que básicamente todo lo que sé va a ser de esto. Muy de chill, ¿no? La música. And what better weapon to hunt vampires than with one of their very own, the No Life King, the Bird of Hermes, Alucard. Igual Alucard es bastante badass, eh? No se los niego. Under Helsing's employ, he was molded into an elite hunter, made even okay. more vicious by his intense hatred of his fellow vampire kind. Fue una pequeña niña durante la Segunda Guerra Mundial. Alucard's primary sidearm is the castle, a behemoth of a handgun able to kill most undead in one shot with holy bullets that can nullify a vampire's healing factor. Que no funciona con Dio en teoría, ¿eh? No te preocupes. 16 inches long and weighing 35 pounds. Its armor piercing, hollow point bullets, jacketed in blessed Macedonian silver, were built to annihilate the toughest monsters. Se vuelve muy cabeza. Con experimentación, Helsing enhanced Alucard's vampiric abilities far beyond the norm. Básicamente tiene como un stand, ¿no? El Alucard. Ese perrito, güey. Y un poquito, güey. Es como edificio, creo. He's not a triclops. It's more of a sixth sense that lets him hit bullseyes from a kilometer away and even predict your movements. Kind of like a Sharon gun. Of course, he wouldn't be a real vampire if he couldn't drink blood. The catch is, when he drinks enough blood to kill you, he literally absorbs your soul. That right there is the source of his most fearsome ability. 
You just can't kill the son bitch. Okay. Un tercer ojo, telepatía, telequinesis, inmortalidad, absorción de sangre, regeneración. No tiene hipnosis. While he does possess blood and organs like a regular human, Alucard's body is in reality a Hora. <risa> no. Oh. Just like me. <risa> okay. Está roto el Wii, el Wii ¿eh? Nazi vampires. That's like evil squared. Like when Millennium SS Lieutenant Rip Van Winkle commandeered a British aircraft carrier as part of an invasion. Alucard didn't like that very much, so he jackknifed it with an SR-71 Blackbird at Mach 3. A okay. full loaded Blackbird weighs 170,000 pounds, meaning Match it's a full loaded energy of 11 tons of TNT. That's okay, so it's City Block. That's the US Massive Ordnance Air Blast, a.k.a. the mother of all bombs. And Al was in the middle of that and strolled out like it was nothing. Just as impressive as intercepting Rip's magic bullets. Comparing the distance one bullet moved to the jet in the same time frame as the jet's own movement, each bullet would have to be moving at 1500 times the speed of sound. Okay. And Alucard caught one with his freaking teeth. And after giving Rip's name a new meaning, he drove that aircraft no in a Dio en nada, eh? mind to fight two separate armies at the same time. What a goddamn monster! It goes without saying that Alucard's immense power and bloodlust needed to be controlled. So six okay. restriction levels were placed on him that he can release against dangerous opponents. Level six through two are for wrecking your ordinary ghouls. Level one is for heavy duty vampires and for getting this gnarly demon doggo made from his shadow essence. Baskerville. But there bueno, pues yo mato perros, ¿eh? Ahí te la dejo. Alucard can release when he wants to end the world. Level zero. Once activated, okay, zero. zero releases every single soul Alucard has consumed as a sea of blood-soaked zombies. All three million of them. Libera todas sus almas, eh? Souls gone, he can't heal as easily, and if his heart is destroyed, he'll die permanently. But the sheer numbers and power of this army from hell makes him virtually impossible to approach in the first place. He's unstoppable. This guy's got to be like. Tiene un ejército gigantesco, eh, pero está muy vulnerable a que lo maten. Y dio para el tiempo se puede acercar. Oh, wow. Qué inesperado. Nadie lo sabía. The Wallachian Vavod Vlad Dracula battled the Ottoman Turks for control okay. over Eastern Europe and impaled thousands of people in the process. Hence his historical name, Gatuña. But things didn't end up. Se parece el güey de One Piece. Right before his execution, he took a big old sip of some blood from the battlefield, sacrificing his humanity in order to become an immortal creature of the night. And okay. that is when the legend was born. But it wasn't anything Dracula was proud of. He grew to despise his monstrous nature and saw it as cowardice. The main reason he hated other vampires so much was that he really hated himself. Chale. <laughs> Maybe that's why he always lets his enemies rip into him like Regresó del limbo después de 30 años. Millennium would exploit this arrogance by tricking Alucard into absorbing the soul and abilities of Schrodinger, okay. a German cat boy who controls his own quantum state. Yeah, yeah okay. Now me this, eh? Omnipresence and immortality. He can exist everywhere and nowhere, and cannot die so long as he can recognize his own existence. Okay, le están dando el Schrodinger. Eh? Three million souls kicking around inside him. Schrodinger couldn't recognize himself anymore, forcing him and thus Alucard to fade out of existence. So Alucard spent 30 years killing the other 3 million souls inside of him until he could return to reality and his master. He undid Está muy raro his own existence. No matter how spoopy the threat, Alucard is <laughs> waiting for the day he meets a noble human warrior strong enough to end his unlife for good. But should he face a fellow monster, a fool who rejected their humanity like himself, he'll let loose the dogs of war and all hell will sing. I'm a dog. Then you're dog food. <laughs> <laughs> Soy un perro. Entonces tú eres comida de perros. Bien. 
Me da miedo eso de Scrudinger. Dijeron que le hace prácticamente pseudo omnipresente, güey. Eh, por si no entendieron, absorbió el alma de alguien que es omnipresente, entonces está en todos lados y en ninguno a la vez. Siempre y cuando se reconozca a sí mismo, pero como tiene como un millón de almas, no se puede reconocer a sí mismo. Algo así entendí. No sé de Helsing. Está rara esa omnipresencia. No sé qué, si va a afectar mucho. Pero como sea, Dio tiene fuerza, resistencia, velocidad. Eh, es multi City Block. Alucard es como edificio. Creo que. No. City Block creo que fue lo máximo que le dieron. Hipersónico. Debería ser más fuerte. Y su ejército de almas lo podría aprovechar Dio para matarlo, ¿eh? No sé cómo funciona el Scrudinger, pero diré que gana Dio, ¿eh? Diré que gana Dio. Vamos allá. Ok. Uy, 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 uy. Vamos, Dio, vamos. Ese es Mai, por cierto. Se siente la energía que hay, güey. Estoy nervioso, estoy muy nervioso, güey. Ah. Uh, ok. Un alma de un millón. Bien, time stop. Tengo miedo. Tío. <ríe> ok, ahí se quedó la prohibió. Uy. Oh. El perrito. <ríe> Uy. Eres comida de perro. Ah. <ríe> la planadora, vamos. No lo entendí ni madres. Ok. Oh, el mar de sangre. Bueno, ya mira. Digo, perfecto. ¿Yo uso el ejército de almas? Eso me da mala espina, eh. Eso me da mala espina. Uh, ok. La telequinesis. Verga, güey, qué buena está la animación, eh. ¿Por qué está tan buena? ¿Qué? <ríe> che, verga, es un seco. Uy, lol. <ríe> Hicieron espadachines de golpe. Uy, aguas. ¿Lol? <risa> Se la comió. Oh, bien. Vamos, vamos, vamos. ¿Qué hace? ¿Lol? Vamos, 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 Dio. Qué di pelea cobarde. Dale, Dio, dale, dale, dale. Bien, bien. Oh, oh, oh. Vamos. Está hecho, ¿no? Está hecho.
¡Oh! ¡Qué rico! ¡A huevo! ¡Qué rico, güey! ¡Oh! ¡Uf! He may have been the king of the oh. Helsing, but he still had everything he needed to clip the bird of Hermes wings. Alucard's strategy in most fights is to heal from an opponent's attacks until they get tired, then take advantage of an opening. But he couldn't do that here because Dio didn't really have any openings. And Alucard wasn't nearly as strong or as fast to compensate. Simon. Alucard could survive crashing that jet and move 1,500 Ooh, times faster But scaling from stone free and silver chariot, the world could punch relativistic meteors and move 1500 times faster than light. Oof, oof, oof. That would make Dio nearly 40 es que times en todo, eh? stronger and 800,000 times faster than Alucard. Now, Alucard couldn't even see or hurt the world in the first place because he's not a stand user. And since stone mask vampires ah, from Jojo no lo dejaron verlo. Are the holy okay. weapons like Helsing vampires are, Hell's guns were more or less dead weight. Plus, Alucard just had no way to get past the time stop. Even if he did somehow, Dio could just freeze him on contact. Uh -huh. And considering Dio has taken punches from Star Platinum, Hell would have had trouble doing damage even if he got the chance. Dio's far greater speed and power meant that, given enough time, he could realistically kill Alucard three million times in quick succession. Without any viable okay. options for attack or openings to exploit, Alucard's soul-based regeneration meant he would run out of lives eventually, and level zero only sped up that process. Timon. Sure, that army's nothing to scoff at, but consider the time Dio's eye beams split those huge-ass clouds. Estimating the size of the clouds, ah, mira, the the they moved, Dio's beams must have output an energy of over 10 megatons of TNT, Me enough to wipe out Alucard's army in one go, leaving him megatons? vulnerable. Just like when this other vampire, Walter, could have killed him by piercing his heart. Alucard's even admitted it himself. Hell, Alucard's army oh, is filled verga. with blood. You know, that thing that Dio uses to heal? But Wiz, what about Schrodinger? With his power, how can he die unless he chooses to? While Schrodinger's quantum immortality makes him impossible to kill normally, it is literally part of the story that Alucard cannot have Schrodinger's abilities and his greater array of powers at the same time, or else he'll no longer exist. We okay. can't give him both Schrodinger and his standard powers without breaking the lore and rules of the character. Okay. Even if we did, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't help him kill Dio at all, so at best it'd be a stalemate. Until Dio hypnotizes Alucard, asks him about his powers, and forces him to eject Schrody like the rest of his souls. Shocking ok, lo puede hipnotizar y ya, ¿no? Bien. Nah, facilón, facilón, facilón. Easy bots. Easy bots. Alucard got Dio'd. Boomstick, you tell the worst puns in the world. That's right, and you're just gonna have to deal with it. And hey, wait a minute, that was a part. That's my territory. We <laughs> the winner is Dio. Oh. Oh, oh, qué épico. Cómo lo disfrutaron, eh? Cómo disfrutaron. Yo creo que el next time es Akuma o ni, eh? Yo creo. Iba a ser en 3D, van a ver. Me lo dijo mi tío Ben. Mi tío Ben Singer, eh? A ver. No me emociona mucho, pero me pueden sorprender, eh? Okay. Te creo, pero dame el trailer, por favor. Ay, cómo sabía, eh? Cómo sabía, cómo sabía. ¿Contra quién? Ah, contra Shao Kahn. Bueno, me me, no sé, supongo que alguien emocionará, no, yo soy ajeno a estas franquicias, así que, sabía que iba a tocar y de seguro va a ser en 3D, les dije que Ben Singer era mi tío, bueno, estuvo bastante buena la pelea, ¿no? ¿Qué opinan? Vamos a poner el chat, ahora sí, para que hablen, güey, estuvo demasiado buena, ¿eh? Sí, sí me sudó un poco, güey, al final Dio ganó, tal como lo dije, y sí gato coins, ganó día, hueva, hueva. ¿Qué dicen los ingleses? Estuvo muy bueno, ¿eh? Oh, qué rico estuvo, ¿eh? Qué rico estuvo. Uy, güey. Uf, no sé, no sé qué decir, ¿eh? estoy sin palabras. Me gustó mucho, se nota que disfrutaron hacer el análisis de Dio por la pantalla final. Estuvo muy bueno, ¿eh? Muy, muy bueno. Uy, güey. Hay, había unos que decían que Alucarim, no, sí se va quietando, pero pues, al parecer parece que no. Pero bueno, estuvo muy épico el final, me gustó muchísimo, güey. Y hasta aquí el, 
el video, espero que les haya gustado mucho, no olviden suscribirse, denle like y nos vemos el próximo videito y la próxima reacción con Akuma vs Shao Kahn, ¿eh? preferiría que gane Akuma, pero la verdad me da un poco igual, así nos vemos banda, chau chau chau.